Hi guys and welcome to the Hersey House. I'm Jeremiah Hersey and today we're going to go a little more in depth than we usually do. Today we're going to be talking about how to transfer a portal from one environment to another. And with this Power Apps portal, there's a couple different layers to it. The first thing is that you have to transfer your solution first. So I've already done that. I've transferred my solution with my model driven app from my Per my previous environment. And now that I've done that, I've created a blank portal in my new environment. And now what I'm going to do is show you the tools you're going to need in order to transfer your portal from one environment to the next. So let's take a look at make.powerapps.com. So here we are at make.powerapps.com and you can see that I have created my portal app in my new environment and here is my solution that I've brought in so here is my model driven app here's the portal management app and what I'm going to do now that my portal is created I have to download something called the XRM toolkit which is is going to be, allow us to migrate our portal so the first thing we want to do is you want to go to and I'll post these links in the comment section. And so you want to go and you want to download the schema file for a blank portal. OK, so that's the first thing you want to do. Go to the migrate portal configuration and download the portal um, schema. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the configuration from Nugent. And so right here, you will see a link, download tools from Nugent. And so I'm going to click this link, and it's going to bring me to this page. Now, there are some links right here you can download. I prefer to use PowerShell. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy all of this code, and I'm going to bring up my PowerShell and paste it in here and let it do its thing. Now it's going to drop this file into my users folder. So let me bring that up. And so from my C drive, it put it in my users folder under my name. And you see the dot nugget right there. So you're going to click in there in the packages. It's kind of buried deep in here. Configuration migration. As I said, we're almost there and then scroll all the way down and you will see the data migration utility. So this is what we're going to use to actually transfer our portal data migration utility. So I can go ahead and double click and open that up. And notice I have um, the option to export my data. So I have to export it first and then we're going to import it back in. So we're actually going to sign in and choose our environment. So I'm going to say export data. It's going to ask me to sign in. And I'm going to say display list of available organizations. So I'm going to log in. And I'm going to go ahead and put my email address in. And now we're in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the environment that my portal is located in, which is this Jeremiah Hersey's environment. And so that's the that's the um, environment that I'm going to pull the CDS from. And so now it's going to ask me to select the schema files to use for export. And so right here I can. Click my common data service starter portal. And click open. All right, and then you're going to choose a location for it to save to. I'm just going to put it in my downloads. That's fine. I'll call this two. And then we're going to export our data. So once again, what I did is I put the schema file that I grabbed from online in here. And then I just chose the location to put this in as soon as I export the data. So I'm going to click export data. All 
And this will take a minute because it's going to run through all the records and make sure that uh, all the web forms and all the web entities and all of your steps and everything like that is going to be in order. And I'll show you once we go into the new portal, uh, it's going to change. It's literally going to take over. And uh, I haven't made too many changes to my original portal, but I will show you what that looks like. It's going to look like your basic starter portal um, with the Contoso Limited and basically all the general blank portal look. Now, once we import our data file into our environment using the migration tool, you're going to notice that this Contoso is going to change to Hersey House and there's also going to be an additional tab here that says applications. And so I didn't make too many changes on my original portal app, but you will notice those two changes as soon as I import it in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to import my data. So I'm going to click continue. It's going to ask me to log in as, again. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the environment, the copy test environment, where my new blank portal is located and click log in. So now it's going to ask me um, what I want to use. And so I'm going to go find that data to file. There it is, the zipped file and click open. And now it's going to import the data. And you'll notice once this completes, when I go into my test transfer portal app, it will then look like Hersey House portal app from my other environment. All right, so now that I have imported my schema files into my environment, when I go into my portal, you'll notice the changes have been made. So I'll give it a quick uh, refresh here. I'm going to go to our portal app and we'll click edit. And then we're going to browse the cache. I'm going to browse the website up here. And now you can see we have successfully migrated our portal and now says Hersey House University at the top. We now have our tab for applications and all of my files are now transported into my new environment. So just to reiterate, there's a couple things you need to do. First, you need to create a blank portal in your new environment. Second, you need to download the schema files for a blank portal. You need to download the data migration tool from the XRM Nugent toolkit. And then you're going to export from your environment. We're using the schema file, the blank schema file, and then import it into that environment. Well, I hope this helps you and I'll see you next time.